Good evening. I'm Zara Gennard. Welcome to the studio. Oh, a nice picture of the Northern Lights. Right. Good evening to you. Sorry, I'm just setting up rather than do this off camera. I'm doing it on camera. Reset that one, reset that one, and cup of tea. That's an important thing. <clears throat> cup of tea. <clears throat> and if you hear a noise in the background, that sounds like <clears throat> a disc drive going a bit crackers. It's because there's a disc drive going a bit crackers. And the laptop is working. Ish. <laughs> I say ish. It sometimes has problems with the power, which I haven't worked out yet. <clears throat> but for the minute, it is what it is. Uh, I think we're finished with the green for now. Um, and I've been trying to install Linux on it. And it's having a problem. I normally use Ubuntu, but it is actually not wanting to install properly or something isn't installing properly. And it's driving me a little bit potty. Should I put some more black on there? Yes, I should. <coughs> That's what I was going to do last night. Oh, has that reset itself? It's every three days now. Oh, okay. So cheers reset themselves every three days, or the top cheer does. I don't actually know what, if anything, I'm going to use that laptop for, but <clears throat> it was kind of fun repairing it. Kind of. Really all I wanted to do, want to do with it <coughs> is just see if OBS runs on it <laughs> and how well. But, yeah, it's another laptop, runs a different operating system. Something to play with. <coughs> In fact, if this doesn't work, I may end up running a different operating system on it. <coughs> so, switch glasses. And load the needle up. with black. Let's see if we can do a little bit of something about this camera. Let me first of all just put that over the top of that. Let's see if we can make... Now that doesn't actually look too bad. It's a bit washed out though, isn't it? Um, properties. Configure. Advanced. Well, that's some screen tearing. Okay, camera, so why are you doing that now? Deactivate the camera. Activate the camera. 
Why are you suddenly tearing? Right, <clears throat> time to reset that camera. Sorry about this if you're watching. And it will just disappear for a moment. Now let's see if that comes back. So I can't kind of play with these settings quite a bit. As it seems to be turning. The particular range that it just does not seem to like. that it washes out the light. Right, we seem to have hit a sweet spot. So hopefully that isn't too bad. So my apologies to anybody that was watching. Hopefully that the colouring isn't too bad. Looking at it here, I can now see the white. If you see it as white, I can even see some of the threads, so hopefully that's okay. Now we will of course now just do this needle and then Um, doing three jobs at once. <laughs> One of which 
is broadcasting. I know I should concentrate on that, but there's a fair bit I want to get done tonight. You're going to be awkward, you are, aren't you? That's probably going to fail, but we shall see. OK, what we're going to do here now. I guess I can bring this down a bit because I'm just doing the black for the moment. Get my shadow out of the way. There we go. So today has been an interesting day here in the UK with the snow. We now have something like about 12 inches of snow in a pile outside. Got a wall just outside the, um, the window here and you can see sort of because the snow falls off the edge of it and it piles up in a nice neat edge you can see just how deep the snow is. And we are at about 12 inches been snowing on and off all day. I don't know whether we're supposed to have any more today but it has been interesting looking out. It's kind of like a uh, Christmas card chocolate box type image outside here in the studio. I can't show you uh, now but uh, if you want to see this sort of thing that it looks like outside. If you take a look at Facebook, some of the photographs in there show the view from the studio. <clears throat> Although they were of last year when we'd not quite as much snow. So whilst I'm doing, you know, so I was clearing the snow earlier today as well, it felt kind of weird. Snow usually sort of sticks to the ground, but it was lifting off our drive extremely easy today. Except where the pussycat had walked across. He was funny this morning, Theo. He's currently sleeping in a chair there because he really wanted to go out. He was crying to go out. Um, eventually we let him out of a not out of his cat door, but out of another door. At which point he was, uh, as soon as he stepped in the snow, he d they does what a lot of cats do and start flicking the feet and then gave up. Uh, at which point um, he was already sort of belly deep in the snow. He was pushing the snow with his tummy. Uh, and it w once he realised this, he, he ran immediately back for the cat door came in the cat door and has been in all day. So 
though it's so much for pussycats being desperate to get out. Very really rather funny. Uh, excuse me, I am also installing an operating system on a computer here, which I, because of the time it takes, I just want to keep um, keep prompting it at the various points. So when I stand to one side, that's kind of what I'm just doing. I suppose what I should have done maybe is, is broadcast me installing an operating system, but. I don't know, I just really didn't feel like resetting the canvas to do that. And then trying to work out uh, why it's not doing what it is, because I don't know Linux that well. It's daft. I mean, I, I work on a Unix computer. Actually, I work on a Linux computer at work. And uh, I can run that. I don't, I, actually, I don't... Um, I don't fault find the computer itself, so I work on it, but I don't fault find it. I do fault find the uh, the database bits of it though. So when it comes to fault finding a desktop computer running Linux, I don't have much clue. And it wants some more input from me, so I shall just finish this row. It wants to create an account. So I shall put my usual account in, just fill this information in. So that it can then continue. And I can continue with this. That's very strange. That was supposed to have offered me the option to reinstall the operating system. I was about to say, I wonder if anybody actually watches the boot uh, messages and screens, advertising screens that come up when you install an operating system these days. I suppose some people must.
So I don't think I'll say anything for the rest of the stream now, you know? I'm just thinking how words change their meaning. Because I'm just thinking there, Wolfie is saying they're not going to talk. Well, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't know anyway. Because of course all, all chat messages are typed, not, not spoken. So. It's interesting how language says so many things. Now I need to just a uh, little bit more wool out in a moment. That's work. Okay. So whilst I'm doing this, I'm also installing Linux on a laptop. Which I hope is going to work successfully. Done it about eight times now. Screen drivers, swing up with screen drivers. 
He's kind of driving me a little bit potty. Because if you run Linux off the CD, it works perfectly. You install it on the laptop and it cups the screen. I want it to just use the same drivers for both and I can't seem to get it to do it. That is going to get trapped if I'm not careful. And we've probably about reached the limit of being able to do the black on here. We'll be switching back to doing the multicolored wall in a moment. Take this to the other end of the row. I was catching the desk with the needle when I just started this row. So we'll stop it there and we'll switch if we can get hold of this end. Careful not to cut the canvas. Oh, right. Back to the multicolored wall. I hope I have enough black left to finish that triangle. Same with the green, I yeah, should have with the green. Black, black has me a little bit concerned. Green should be okay. Right, let's put the camera back up there so you get to see the full width. And a little bit higher. Almost the full width, right. So let's. Use this small pile up and then I'm buying some more. Rough hands. Maybe I ought to get some hand cream. You working with wool? <laughs> uh, rough hands is a really annoying thing because it just catches. Mine aren't actually all that rough. Okay, so where did we stop? Which side did we stop at? This side. So that's where we'll carry on from.
No, that computer is not idle. Hmm. I'm just going to be a little bit careful. I don't actually just end up stitching these by folding it like I have done here. Just to be a little bit careful. I don't end up stitching the two um, two halves of the canvas together. That would not be good. Is it today? What day is it today? Thursday. Okay. That means to that means tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> well, that's another week gone. Oh blind me the go fast. It won't be long before it's Easter. Of eggs this Christ this Christmas. Definitely not getting any this Christmas. I don't get any this Easter. Our lo local supermarket has some really pretty looking ones in at the moment. They sort of got a, a dark chocolate background, and then they sort of some of them have been drizzled with coloured chocolate. Some of them have got like a galaxy type sparkly design. They look pretty. Don't know whether I want them, but they look pretty. A lot of these specialist chocolate things are not actually carefully chocolate. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. I was just thinking about something that, mind you, it's a little bit naughty. Um, from the point of view that ladies are, uh, is diabetic, so. Uh, but I was just thinking then about an Easter egg. A few, quite a few years ago now, but I did actually buy her a handmade Easter egg. And uh, the Easter egg itself was a little bit larger than normal. It was. In fact, uh, I think how big was it actually? Can't actually remember the real size of it. But it stood about that tall. So what's that? About two foot tall. <laughs> two two and a half foot tall Easter egg. It was it was going from easily a foot across in uh, diameter. I think it I think that lasted about six months. <laughs> Just the one egg on its own. 
Um, she got lots of other eggs as well, but that one that you I think lasted about six months. Now just thinking about whether or not I might be able to get another one this year. In uh, the local town there is actually a chocolatier, so and they do make things like that. I thought that fell. to many of you that are watching or any of you that are watching I half suspect that uh, English chocolate is not something that you think is much in the way of chocolate but we like it Cadbury's chocolate, which used to be a favourite of Lady Zara's, uh, Cadbury's has been brought as quite a while ago now was brought out by an American company, and they've changed the formula, and they've changed it to be more like it is in America, which is uh, sort of more there's more oil in it, more oily, and it's not very nice anymore, which is a pity. It used to be a really good English uh, com uh, company. You are not going to let me, are you? Yep, okay, that's a rebuild again. Yeah, in fact, one of the um, Cadbury's family who started the original Cadbury's in the UK, I gather, has started up a new company in the UK uh, selling uh, chocolate to the original Cadbury's recipe. I don't know what the company name is, but that's potato. If you liked the original Cadbury's chocolate, that's uh, something to look out for. Uh, coming soon, as they say.
dreaming to get some more wool out and not to do that extra bit of work. <laughs> uh, I notice they've up they have updated the um, the chat window a little bit. Um, yes, but <laughs> yeah, every English word is spelt spelt yeah. Every English word is spelt wrong because it's not Dutch. Well, at least it's pretty, you know. You get these nice squiggly red underlines under all your text. It's easy to see which ones you typed. <laughs> You'd have to set it to English for that, and it'll only help you improve your spelling. Although, to be honest, um, your writing in English is fine. It's certainly... Um, it's certainly more comprehensive, right? comprehensible, than some English people who write sometimes. I saw a cartoon, oh it must have been yesterday, maybe the day before, I forget, uh, it was on Twitter and it was, uh, it, it was just speech bubbles but it was, Grandpa, Grandpa, tell me about the time when people used to write in funny squiggling letters, sorry, funny squ uh, squiggly lines uh, instead of proper, proper images. Uh, and and now my brain has just gone completely blank as to what the response was. But anyway, that's kind of what seems to be happening a lot these days. The trouble is a lot of the images, uh, images what are emoticons these days, are becoming kind of obscure in their own right because they're not as obvious as the smiley face or uh, the tongue, uh, you know, sticking out your tongue type of thing, tongue in cheek, uh, as they used to be.
You know, I bet there's a, a university degree or something similar that you can do to study uh, emoticons. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so progress is being made, but unfortunately I need to finish early tonight. 
have some things that I want to I need to get done. So, oh yes, unfortunately I did start a little late and uh, I'm finishing a little early because I don't want to be late twice on one stream. <laughs> but uh, I hope I will, well I hope, <laughs> I intend to continue this tomorrow night, it's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Time goes fast. Um, so, sorry it's a little bit short, but uh, thank you anybody that's watching. Uh, if you uh, don't already follow, you like what you see, please push the follow button. and um, helps the channel out and gives you a notification when I go live again so that you can come back and see even more. And if you'd like to see any of these old broadcasts that uh, were available on Twitch for a little while, but if they're not there, then you can always check them out on youtube.com slash Art. And as I mentioned, I think I mentioned anyway, I tweeted out that I was going to be late at the start of this stream, so if you like sort of a little bit more advanced notice of things like that, rather than just turning up to find me not here, then you can follow me on Twitter. Again, at Saraganat, twitter.com slash Saraganat. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Hope I'll see you on the next stream. Bye for now.